Okay. Yeah, always remind me like a you know, hurricane coming. 
getting your energy morning Hilly. okay well done awesome mm -hmm. and it's always good so go ahead inhale exhale roll into our feet yeah nice smooth movement reaching up feet mobility knees so we're waking up that body with our feet that's it inhale exhale well done so scary. <laughs> Lovely. I know last warm up exercise is usually squat, so why not? Yeah, weight on our heels, keeping the back nicely upright. Yeah, feeling the strength of your back. Don't let your knees get inwards. Yeah, pushing the bottom right back. So we're trying to keep knees on top of your heels, so we're not losing this alignment. We don't need to go very deep. Arms relaxed, let this swing. That's it, yeah. Okay. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay, we go for 10, okay? If some of you really keen on squats, we can do 12. <laughs> They're always good, always good for you. Yeah. yeah, strengthening your legs, hips, back, everything. Amazing exercise, the best ever. 50 a day, you will be always healthy. I tell by never do. <laughs> what do you think? Okay, so I think we can finish our little warm up. Yeah, our roll is ready. Let's try somewhere here. Okay, let me wait for a moment. I think I'm gonna abandon my mom. <laughs> Well done. So what you can do is you two heels, yeah, bring your toes down there and leave the elbow now. Go through the ceiling. Yeah, shuffle a bit side to side, stretching the lower back muscles here. Always good. Always good, yeah? Armpit gently to the floor. Very good. Okay, and then we can get our rollers. Yeah, and just go and roll forward back, stretching our arms. Yeah, again, just comfortable, just comfortable stretch. Don't overstretch your shoulders. Everything gentle. We're not really warm yet to challenge our body. It just feels nice. Just create this nice feel in your body. Enjoy the stretch. Well done. Okay. And then we are sitting up. Sitting up and we're placing our roller instead of you in the middle of your mat. Okay. Yeah. And then I just wanted to say, maybe we should gracefully sit on the roller, but we don't care about this kind of things. <laughs> we just go and sit on edge any comfortable way. Right? So what we need, we need to sit right at the front. Yeah. So you sit in bones, actually touching the edge of the roller. Okay. Good. Right. So newbies, you might want your hands on the floor. Yeah, if you're not newbie and you're confident in your core strength, you can extend your arms. Then we're taking our breath and lengthening through our spine, so get a nice long spine. As we start to breathe out, we hinge from your hips and vertebrae by vertebrae. All the way you're breathing out, you're placing your spine one vertebrae at a time. If you're not sure, hands on the floor and slowly let yourself just go down. Yeah, don't fall. More control, more control. Well done. Yes. Oh, that's really nice sound. Okay, fantastic. And then when we're on the roller, the first things we're doing, we're checking if our head nicely supports it on the roller. Yeah, so your crown yeah, should be in alignment with the edge of the roller or some, somehow so your head is not falling on another side. And the second thing, we're going our feet alignment. So please, guys, bring your feet a little bit closer to the roller. So our feet under our knees, feet together, open our toes, stand to two, part your heels. 
Yeah, so now we have a great alignment, feet, knees, hips. And give your brain a little challenge, rocking on the roller left, right. Imagine you want to fall and you catch yourself. And again, you fall and you're catching yourself, okay? This is a little, a little, I don't know, relax for your brain, yeah? Because especially if you first time or second time, your brain is thinking, oh, this is the danger. I better just, yeah, be very like holding the body. But I want your body to be relaxed because it's not a big deal. If you fall in, that's fine. It's just fun. Okay, and it's a good massage for your back as well when you're rolling this way. Okay, let's stop rocking. Everybody comfortable on the roller? If you feel dizzy, yeah, if you feel a bit sick or something, yeah, just sit up, take a break, and then try without the roller. Okay, because, don't know, it's, it's never happened, but you never know what's going to happen. Right, so we are, first of all, mobilizing through our lower back. Let's make diamonds with our fingers. And place the thumbs on the belly button and the rest of our fingers on our tummy. Relax our elbows, open the chest, slide the shoulders down, lengthen through your neck. And now we're breathing and we're rolling on our tailbone, making a good arch in your spine as we breathe in our tailbone to the ceiling. So you are tilting and tucking your pelvis only. We're trying to keep our ribs quiet. So they don't follow. As you're breathing in through your nose and rolling on your tailbone, your ribs stay quiet and heavy on the roller. Okay? As we're breathing out, we're making it through our mouth. Yeah, slightly open first lips. And tailbone going up to the ceiling. And we don't need any effort from your feet and from your glutes. So it's all quiet as well. Relax. Light feet, light glutes. So we keep rocking. Enjoy this gentle movement. Yeah, just your lower back. Right, great mobility for your lower back. Good treat for your lower back muscles as well. So any problems, any stiffness in your hips, in your lower back, you will feel much better. Okay? <clears throat> and we're going into our very, very I know, technical Pilates breath. Okay? So if you did it, if you've been with me for yes, that's all easy for you. If not, you try really listen, engage in what we're doing. So we are placing one hand on top of the belly button, second hand below your belly button. As I said, it's very, very, very basics. Right? So we're practicing firstly in the breath, and then we will practice Pilates breath out. Yeah, just a little reminder about why we're doing it, because it's very important to engage our core in Pilates exercises. Every time you put in an effort in the movement, we need our core muscles to support your body and actually take the action. But they're a little bit slow. Not everybody yeah, feeling them engaging. Actually, they're not maybe engaging in, in the right time because the other big muscles taking over. So we practice. So as we breathe in, it, I want you, yeah. So core muscles is like a cylinder inside your torso and there's a pelvic floor and the top of it. So it's a big cylinder. So we're breathing in and we start to expand this cylinder with inner breath to the ceiling and to the floor this way. Yeah, high wise as we're breathing in. As we're breathing out, it's back to contraction. Okay, inhale. At the moment, you don't need to feel anything except the breathing in your ribs and your tummy. Chest relax. There's no tension, there's no lift in your chest. It's just there. Okay, just send this with practice in this dimension. So next. We're placing our hands on our lower ribs. Again, elbows relaxed, chest relaxed. Breath is coming into your lower ribs, pushing them out against our hands. And then as we're breathing out, we find the contraction. Okay, and we do it a couple of times. Very good. Okay, so keep lightness in your shoulders. If you notice your chest is going up and down, that's wrong. All the breathing is here. Okay, then we change it again, our hands, one on our throat, second hand on our pubic bone. As we breathe in, and imagine the spine getting longer from inside. Okay, that's expansion there. And then breathing in and hands going even closer. And again, distance between your hands getting bigger and then closer. Okay, so that's we tried all three dimensions, right? As expanding of our torso, expanding of our core muscles as we breathe in. So we're going to combine them together. Let's get our fingers again in diamond. And this time, 
our belly button will be in the middle of this diamond so we can really feel yeah the muscles with our fingers with our hands feel at the core again just make sure all relaxed around chest and your shoulders flat you're lying on your tailbone a little bit your knees facing forward very good so as we breathe in we're trying to combine those three breaths together but we're not taking a big breath long yeah i'm always saying shallow breath in so it's quite shallow but be aware it's all happening here give a couple of times so we inhale and then we exhale through our mouth lovely yeah just a couple of times brilliant and now we moving on to the pilates out to breast which is much more important right which is give us the engagement on the right time when we're doing our exercises so we are going to make sh sound first so pushing the air as you breathe out through the top of the roof of our mouth make it slow yeah and feel like all this core muscles nicely creeping inside your torso creeping in slowly and the end of your breath let's do it twice okay so we're doing two times out to breath and feeling a nice engagement to the very 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 end okay have you found the core have you found the contraction below your belly button well done okay let's try sound s i punch tire again you can yeah it's slow slowly slowly again and again deeper and deeper yeah so i personally feel my pelvic floor contraction doing this one so make sure when you're breathing out you're pushing the air through the top of your roof mask you're actually pulling your muscles in not out okay go do it twice find the core lovely and the last one you might like it might not but that's giving you a little bit like more around torso contraction try to make a slow h a yeah what i'm doing it now i feel it i always feel it because i practice every day <laughs> okay so shoulders relax and you need to really disconnect there's no breath there's no tension happening in your chest and the neck well done okay so please choose your favorite sound don't be shy make it loud yeah nobody okay by you personally is all yours space is yours you need to make the most of it so do twice your favorite out breath so breathing in six dimensional breath in shallow and then slowly with your own sound pushing the air again through the top of the roof of your mouth and feeling it good okay so next challenge next even more it's harder for your brain right <laughs> so we're gonna breathe out so we're gonna do six six them just like here listen and breathe naturally so as we're breathing in is shallow six dimensional breath in as we're going to breathe out now a couple of times two three times we're not making sounds we are having our lips slightly open we imagine we're blowing the candle or blowing the dandelion and we try to create exactly the same feelings in our tummy yeah so we're feeling that nice deep contraction and also i want you to follow your breath count as soon as you start breathing out count one two three four and see on which count you feel the contraction actually happening yeah so i got a couple of new newbies today so i just want to explain again you probably heard it many many times core muscles are slow muscles they need some time to get engaged and i want you to feel it to be really aware you can even close your eyes embrace yourself completely in this outer breath yeah count which number is happening and then also notice uh yeah all the contraction the deeper 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 going with your breath so we about to finish your breath and then it's really really engaged okay you with me give me some up if you with me if i'm not talking to myself <laughs> lovely okay so that's it all practice all engaged all know what we're doing Let's get into the practice, into exercises. Please lace our fingers, placing under the heaviest part of our head. Good. Okay, so let's just check your knees facing forward, you're lying on your tailbone, you have a nice neutral spine, 
And now let's relax our head completely on our head. So it's like lying here and it's not going to lift. It's just going to lie here nice and heavy. Okay. And elbows in your peripheral view. So let's do our curl ups. But it's not curl ups. Yeah, it's curl ups. But it's very small because all the movement I want you to happen from here. Yeah, from your core. So it's kind of sliding your lower ribs down, lifting a little bit, feeling the core engagement to the rest of your outer breast, and then lie down. Ready? Let's go. So we inhale, we're rolling on our tailbone. As we start to exhale, we count one, two, three, four, feel the engagement and lift your head, neck, and shoulders, looking up to the ceiling. Finish the outer breast, relax down in the breast. Okay? Manage, yeah, with the breathing, so that's really important. As soon as you feel it here, then you lift it, not before. So let's go again. Inhale, tailbone out. Exhale, count. Find the engagement. Use it to lift yourself slightly, looking up, chest lifting to the ceiling. Relax on inner breath. Two more times. Inhale to prepare neutral spine. Exhale to engage. Lift. Stay there. Relax, inner breath. And one more time. Inhale, tailbone out, exhale, core ready, use it, stay, look up, relax, okay? Now we add in our next challenge. Yeah, when you lift it, I will ask you to finish the outer breath, breathe and roll on your tailbone and lift a little bit higher. All together, let's go. Inhale, rolling on the tailbone, exhale, one, two, three, it's nicely scoop and lift it, stay until you finish your outer breath. Shallow breath in, roll on your tailbone and lift yourself higher. Well done. Relax now with the in out breath. Okay, we have three more. Inhale, get ready. Exhale, engage. Lift. Okay. Next is breathing tailbone and lift higher. And then we relax. You're doing amazing. And one more time. Inhale, tailbone out. Exhale, one, two, don't, don't remember that, and then lift it, then using it, really feel deep engagement, and then push yourself a bit high when you're breathing it, and you again on your tailbone. Good. Last one, you do yourself. Count, think about it. Yeah, do it right. Very good. Heavy head. Well done. Well done. Mm -hmm. Right, awesome. Please relax your hands down, place next to your body. Right, everybody engage in the right time, using the tummy engagement in the right time. Yeah, core. Lovely. So now it's a bit, yeah, the, dif the different challenge is the lower legs. It's lower legs. <laughs> <laughs> Middle legs. <laughs> right, legs. Yeah, legs. just legs. Yeah, just need legs. So, uh, yes, and this time I will ask you to take your foot off the floor on outer breath, but don't lift your leg, okay? So if that's the floor and that my foot. Yeah, it's going to be like half inch, okay? So it will be exactly the same. When you feel the engagement in your core, then you disconnect. Just disconnect. So let's go. Arms relaxed on the side, shoulders down, chest flat and relaxed, tailbone out. Inhale, again, rolling on our tailbone and gently pushing the pelvis into the floor. Exhale, feel the engagement. Yeah, balance yourself, focus and disconnect your left foot slightly off the floor. Stay until you finish your outer breath and place it down. That was really good. A little bit too high, but still very good. Okay, try your right one. A little bit more focus. Inhale to prepare. Tailbone out, pushing the pelvis down. Exhale to engage. Focus and disconnect your right foot. Stay in there, finish your outer breath. Inhale, relax your foot down. Well done. I want you to get three fingers on the floor. Only three. Arms extended, it's just three fingers on the floor. And do it again, keeping your hands light, keeping your fingers light. Let's do exactly the same. So we inhale, we prepare, rolling on the tailbone, pushing the pelvis down. Exhale, disconnecting the foot, holding it. Finish the outer breast, place it down. Try with your right one. Only left, your, only lift your right foot when you're ready. When your core is ready, when you feel all engagement here, and then you feel you can create lightness in your foot and then you disconnect it. Well done. Two fingers now, your thumbs and your index finger on the floor, arms extended, energized, but not using. Base of support is very light on the floor. Here we go. 
in a man your fingers not by what did I say? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sometimes I say something God knows what. Right, again, focus. <laughs> Inhale, roll it on the tailbone. Exhale. Yeah, feeling the strength here and just get your left foot slightly off the floor, tiny, tiny. Well done. That's really good. Placing it down. Try with your right one. Again, inhale out, tailbone out, pushing the pelvis, feeling the engagement, disconnect your right foot, holding it, hovering over the floor, feeling the bumps of your foot still next to the floor, and then place it on one finger now. Okay, you can choose your thumb or your, or your index finger. Keep them light. Keep your chest yeah, open. You go again. Inhale, tailbone out, heavy pelvis. Exhale, balance, think about it. When your core is ready, disconnect in your left foot. Well done. And then place it down. Do the same with your right one yourself. Okay. Yeah, good, good, good. Well done. Right. Okay, so now no fingers on the floor. We're walking our fingertips forward. We're extending our arms. Level just above our hips, energize your arms, taking a breath in, rolling on our tailbone, pushing the pelvis down, and then when we're ready, left foot off the floor, hovering over the floor for out the breath, and then placing it on one foot. Well, if you're still wobbly, you're probably a beginner, that's fine. And then foot down, and then slide with your right foot straight. Inhale to the press. Yes, yeah, so when you're rolling on your tailbone, you feel a nice engagement. Then you're ready, then you balance, and then you just feel and light your foot, you want to leave, and then we take it over. Brilliant. Okay, let's place our hands now. Yeah, we all manage with the breathing. Yeah? Yeah, you all press with your stretch now. <laughs> okay, so a little stretch for you. In back into the challenge. So hands on our wrist. Okay. And then we up. Keeping the alignment, hands with the lower ribs, we're sliding them up until the arms extended. And again, just check, your hands should be always with the level with your lower ribs during the exercise. And then we imagine we're holding the fish bowl, yeah, full of water and a lot of nice goldfish. <laughs> right, so if you did that, it's bashing on your tummy. It could be painful. Right, so what we do is we are squeezing the shoulder blade, gently wrapping the roller, and we're trying to hold this fish down at the same time, this fish ball, and then breathing in and reaching up to the ceiling. Okay, so we're not bending our elbows, our elbows soft, arms extended. Exhale, wrapping the roller, slide the shoulder blades down. Inhale up to the ceiling, and you give me eight more. And I'll just check if you're doing it right. So it's just, yeah. Keep your elbows soft, but don't bend and extend. So it's just your shoulder blades sliding, wrapping the roller, and reaching up. So it's very good. It's excellent massage for the muscles behind the shoulder blades. So it's all getting tight. You might create neck pain, upper back pain, any discomfort in your shoulders. So that's a great way to, yeah, to actually give it a little bit of massage. And it's also a nice way to mobilize your shoulders. And you might feel when you're doing your last couple of times, you actually feel you're working out. So, it's, yeah, it's also good strength, yeah, good toning exercise for the shoulder muscles and the shoulder girdle. So let's check your hands. Where are they? Are they level with your lower ribs? Yeah, so just there. Lower ribs, hands reaching up on the shoulder blades, squeezing them together, gently, gently wrap the roll. It might feel different in shoulder blades. Yeah, when I personally do it, I feel like one of my shoulder blades perfectly sliding. And the second one, kind of like a broken robot. So hopefully you don't feel them my way. Okay? So then we stop. We relax the shoulder blades, let them fall. Gently wrap the roller. And we're going into the scissors. Breathing in, breathing out, lengthening our arms nicely. Well done with the breath, with the breath. Let's check if your spine is neutral. Let's check your knees facing forward. Good, ribs flat. And then we stop. We stop here. Stop for a moment. Okay? Nice chin in, lengthen in your neck. Breathe in and roll on our tailbone. Start to exhale. Really, really focus. And take your left foot slightly off the floor, just like we did. And hover it. 
and carry on doing your arms two and three you can go really slow really controlling really focusing if you're a bit wobbly that's fine if you're falling off the roller that's fine as well okay and then we stop we stop and you're placing your left foot down again stop 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 in this position good again just give yourself a little rest find your right alignment breathe and roll on your tailbone again focus really really focus engage the tummy push your pelvis down lighten your right foot and then take it off the floor slightly and give me another four one you can go really slow it doesn't matter yeah as soon as you remain on the roller i know it's a bit challenging it's actually much more challenging than i, than I ask you to lift your knees above your chest very good well done yeah nice deep core engagement that should happen okay so when we did then we place your both hands down <laughs> Fantastic, you only made on the roller, that's a good achievement. Yeah? <laughs> okay, so we're ready for the next challenge then. You doing yeah, you still doing with the breathing, thinking is all going right, yeah? Okay, so from here, walking our fingertips forwards again, extending our arms again over that, yeah, and energize your arms. So once these arms be very, very strong, fingertips facing to the wall in front of you. Okay? Take your breath in. On out the breast, engage your core, lift your chest, neck, and shoulders, lift, 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 and curl in a little bit so you can see your knees. Okay, so here, keep breathing, yeah, and focusing. And next time, when you're breathing out, I want you to really focus and bring your left knee towards your chest when you're ready. Okay, good. Stay in there, breathing in, and then exhale, stretch the leg 45 degrees, nice long left. Inhale in. If you feel like you're, yeah, you're not happy, you're falling, you can place one or two fingers on the floor. Yeah, but try not to. Try really focus and not to fall. That could be very challenging for newbies. Yeah, so we exhale, stretch in, inhale, and we go for eight. And then number four, yeah? No, I no. think so. Yeah, so think in a long, long leg. Follow the movement. Feel your core. We have two more. Exhale, yeah, in, and one more time, exhale, stretch, brilliant, into your chest, then place your hands down, upper back and head down on the roller and relax your legs. Please turn your head to the left, to the right, okay, okay, lovely, well done. If you feel the tension in your pelvis, we can do a couple of times, tilt and took your pelvis, release the lower back, okay. Let's adjust our feet again. Feet underneath, feet toes to get together, toes tend to part your heels. Good. We're going to do exactly the same with your right leg. It could be a bit more challenging for some of you who is right-handed, right-sided. So don't be ashamed. Play one or two, put, put fingers on the floor. And also, if you feel tension in your neck and shoulders, you can always, any moment, place your head, neck and shoulders on the floor. If you're ready, walking fingertips forward, standing arms, reaching forward, energize. Inhale on, and then exhale, lift, curl up, curl up, and then curl in. Look at your knees, concentrate, focus on your own time. When you're ready, bring your right knee to your chest. Okay? And again, just focus, just concentrate. It's okay to keep new base, it's okay to keep even to hold four arms on the floor. That's fine. Okay, so we inhale, knee to your chest, exhale, total extend. And we go for eight of those. In through the nose, out through our mouth. In through our mouth, nice and slowly, long leg. Mm -hmm. Inhale, don't be ashamed, it's okay. The lower your leg goes, the harder the exercise. Yeah, if you're lifting it up, it's much easier. So if you, depends how much you want to challenge yourself. Yeah, you can extend, lower it. Just think in the long leg. Okay, we're counting. Anybody counting? I think we don't, because I didn't. <laughs> okay, so legs on the table top, hand down, head down, and that foot on the floor. And again, turning head to the left, to the right. We're going to try to go Fantastic. So before the next one, again, give, give me a couple of tilts and took off the pelvis. Again, just release any tension. 
Yeah, your last challenge on the roller today is walking the fingertips forward, making the crabs with your hands. Newbies, keep all the fingers on the floor. If you're quite confident, just two. Yeah, two fingers on the floor. Light, light hands, don't rely on them. Okay, now we are lifting head, neck and shoulders. So now to breath. Okay, one more time. Anytime you can place it down. Then we lift the both legs up, connecting your heels together, open your knees and toes out. Lovely. So inhale, knee to your chest, exhale, stretch your legs 45 degrees nice and long. If you're strong enough, you can lower your legs down. If not, just go extend and inhale, exhale. Yeah? If you feel like you have a lot of stability control, you can extend and lower them and then bring them in again. And we go for eight, yeah. So it's four, in my view, five, okay. Yeah, slowly breathing out, follow your legs, feel the extension, feel that tummy working hard. Everybody feeling abdominals, I hope. So in the last one, Sam, yeah? Oh, yeah. When you're doing your last one, feet on the floor, upper body on the roller, head on the roller, mm -hmm. and turning head to the left to the right. Well done. Well done. The most important, do we feel a core? Do we feel abdominals? Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely. So now we are, all of us, nicely falling down of the roll on your right side. Extending the right leg, then lay your hip to fall, to fall and then rest to you on the floor. And when you're on the floor, just give yourself a little moment. Lie down, extend your legs, and enjoy the feeling of a nice, treated body. Yeah? You feel how low and flat your back feels, the body a little bit boozy in the 80s, some energy, like flow, yeah, all this stuff. And the most important is the like natural position on the floor. Even if it's just a hard floor, it feels much better than normally lying on the hard floor. Unless you're drunk. <laughs> Massages. Let's place the roller yeah, under our base of the skull here. Base of the skull. I know you might be tempted to place it under your neck. No, you need to hairline. Yeah, I'm just above the hairline. And then you can keep relaxing your legs extended or maybe for more stability bend your knees whatever it feels better for you shoulders relaxed falling down lifting our chin a little bit up half inch not a little like face parallel to the floor and slowly turning your head to the left to the right to the left to the right relaxing that neck muscles yeah all the way from the neck or down to your shoulders, slowly feelings. Again, close your eyes, enjoy it the most. You don't need to think about anything now. Yeah? Get your brain a little rest. Lovely. Then stop in the middle and take a breath in and out to breath. Oh, just completely relax. Heavy hands. Well done. Good. So next one, same position of the roller above the highlight. We're all having a bit little heels here, yeah, on the base of the skull. So we're going to try to draw the line around those both heels. Like with the base of the skull, you draw an infinity sign on top of the roller. Chin, chin a little bit up. So ideally, your face is parallel to the floor, to the ceiling, and just go draw in that little, little infinity sign. Try to make the movement small. The smaller the better. Yeah, and try to draw the constant line. So you like, yeah, the same pressure all the time through the, all the movement. Okay? Well done. Yeah, you're smiling, that's a good sign. <laughs> you don't even know, but your face is really nice. <laughs> okay, and then we stop for a moment and just take a breath in, out to breath, relax. Feel like you melted like a drop of water. Are we warm enough? 
everybody good so let's push yeah push the roller slightly higher one inch half inch towards your crown okay you may need your fingers on the roller a bit more control i do but sometimes you don't need to depends okay so what i want you to do yeah is lift your chin up imagine like you're kissing someone who is taller pull the chin up take your breath in and then as we're breathing out your chin going down your roller going down and then when chin meeting your chest then you're taking a breath in again and again, out your breaths, lifting, 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 pull the chin up, take your breath in, out your breath, relax, let it go down, feeling the stretch in the back of your neck, again, inhale in the lowest position, and give me two more times. Yeah, you're breathing out in the motion, relax breath, and then taking the breath in when you lift it, or when your chin next to your throat. Maybe you notice some relaxation in front of your chest, on the back of your neck, on the shoulders, whatever you feel. Again, just try to get more aware of what's going on in your body, which nice processes you can notice. And after the last one, again, give yourself a tiny little break. Inhale, turn up. We need to sit up, newbies, any, any way you can sit up. And if you're not newbie, I'm going to challenge you, right? Okay. So legs, not really badly. Legs on the tabletop, arms relaxed, stretching where is the ceiling meeting the wall. When we inhale, we're lifting our head, neck and shoulders, rolling on the lower back. As we exhale, we progress into the nice sitting up position. Okay. Yeah, you can go through the teeth, that's even better. And then we're sitting up, well done. Good. So we are going to make our side exercises. Yeah, first time you will feel very odd. Second, third time you will feel absolutely natural. So sitting on the side like a little mermaid and mermaid, mermaids and mermails. <laughs> mermaid? I, I, I like mermail. You like mermail? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have our roller on the side and we're going to use the mat lengthwise again yeah so that way good okay so we are lying on our forearm hmm? no we're doing oh no we're not doing mermaid here yeah we're doing our yeah side kick we're doing side kick exercise so when we're here so everybody the same for me right lovely so the first thing we're checking yep so the top of the elbow 90 degrees so trying to keep it right alignment then we got our uh, pelvis moving forward, okay? So you're curling your pelvis, and we're going to start your one top hip on top of your bottom hip, right? So oh, if I look at you from top, I won't see your bottom, uh, I mean, bottom bump, bo bottom bump cheek. I can see the top one, okay? <laughs> Lovely. Okay, and you give me a little bit of tilt as well, so sexy tailbone. Oh, so that's it. You see, it's a little bit of thinking required. Then we keep in the pelvis, so we might just hold it with our hands, so we don't need it to move. Yeah, we're extending the legs now. Oh, energizing them, nice and strong extended legs. And dorsiflex your ankles, well done, okay? So, and the most, right, next important thing, very important. Yeah, scoop your tummy and take your waistline of the roller so lift 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 so roller should be easily moving there easily moving there and then you're making alignment oh don't go and then we go in alignment chest breastbone and the face oh lengthen <laughs> top shoulder and top of your bottom shoulder yeah all this awkward stuff done now you can exercise <laughs> right so the target is don't let the tummy to suck so you're always keeping a strong waistline yeah very strong and the muscles will work with here, so you're going to feel it with your hand. So as we breathe in, we do a double kick forward, and then we're pointing our toes and kick back. Slowly don't move the pelvis. Again, inhale, kick, kick, breathe out back. Well done. So go. Okay. Keeping the waistline of the floor. Go lengthening, tailbone, crown, keeping the pelvis stagger it hips tailbone out inhale inhale exhale feel the muscles of your hips those hips there under your hand constantly working 
Okay. Right. Anybody count it just out of interest? Mm -hmm. Nobody? Too much of you like it? Up. She like it, Karen? <laughs> Let's bad. do one more. Not 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 too bad, no. Yeah. It's bad when you're doing it the first time. Relax, well done. Okay? And now we're sitting up. Yeah, we're sitting up again, marmaid's position. Keep the roller, same same type, same same side, keeping the roller, same side. Don't move the roller. Don't move the roller. Keep your legs away. Just like marmaids. And we're doing marmaids exactly. Oh. Yeah, and we're doing that stretch, yes. Right. So we're doing it. Yeah, after the exercise. So we get breathing in, breathing out. Okay? So one side, yes. So one side we're feeling ribs opening. Another side we're feeling yeah, that muscles lower back. So carry on. Again, really watch the body nicely. Yeah, again, ears on top of the shoulders, chest on top of the pelvis. If that's too much for you and you feel really awkward sitting that way, you can sit a bit different position. So you can sit, I shall show you here. Yeah, you can sit like this, one leg in front. Okay, well done. Enough. And then we're changing the roller side and we're doing another side the same exercise. Okay? Yeah, this time a little bit faster because we know what we're doing. So, fat, yeah, elbow shoulder alignment. Sit, pelvis pushed forward, staggering your hips, extending the legs, energizing 45 degrees, dorsiflex your ankles. Yeah, by, yeah pulling the tummy up creating a nice strong waistline. Make sure your rollers can move and I can put my hand between your waist and the roller. Okay, shoulder on top of the shoulder. A bit that way, oh good, lovely. Hand on your hip to hold the pelvis and then lengthen in that line. Okay, pull it up, here we go. Inhale, inhale, exhale. In, in, out, swim out. Stability of your pelvis, don't look at your legs, don't look, you're keeping that long line. Don't challenge your neck. Keep your old spine in alignment. It's not too good. It doesn't feel right. That's okay. If you feel a bit awkward, don't do it. Or you can do lying on the floor, on the side. You can just lie, not doing the opposite. Just lie that way. Try this way. And side leg kick. Yeah? No, if you lie and extend the legs, then it will be a much completely different story. Yeah? Is it lying on your hip, the hip? Yeah. Yeah. I'm me. Give me a minute. The better or not? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, the hip you're lying on is hurting, yeah? Yeah. That's no bit. problem. <laughs> it's a little bit painful. It's a little bit painful. It's a bone on the floor. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's stop. Yeah, I know maybe not the right explanation, but I did explain, yeah? I did explain. It's a very good explanation, finally. So if you decided to work as a stripper, <laughs> And you're performing on the glass <laughs> table. But it's very, very difficult first couple of times. And then you get used to it, so it's all right. <laughs> right, well done. So we did mar doing mermaids again. Just get stretch after that one. I can't compare with anything else. If you give me a good other comparison, <laughs> why not? I know I've been a gymnast and I've had as a fail. I did, yeah, in the movies. <laughs> I'm always impressed. It's bloody so comfortable. How do they do it? I always felt for them being a gymnast, so yeah. <laughs> well done. Next one, scissors. Okay? You know, Sam, yeah, I can give you a little rest because I'm going to. All right. I'm going to demonstrate. So you can see it relax for a moment. Uh -huh. Yeah, we're going through the few options. Okay. And yeah. because, yeah, you just have a little rest. Okay. Yeah, because people say I hate teasers. Yeah, so I'll give you, can you see me there, darling? Yeah, maybe you can move a little bit. I don't know, just literally need to see me. So we are starting very few modifications. Yeah. To make everybody feel like you're doing something and you know what you're doing. So the very easy option, you sit in, we can all do the easy option. And like we, we can all progress. And then you stop in the option that suits you the most, okay? So we sit in there, feet on the floor, roll is quite close. Quite close, probably, I don't know, a couple of inches away. So you have a, have a room to come back. 
Okay? So we are extending the arms, taking the breath in, lengthening through our spine, and then as we start to breathe out, we hinge, and then we feel the engagement, and then you slowly progress into the seat, back with your lower back curved and chest open. Then we inhale, and as we exhale, we are counting one, two, three, four, feeling the engagement and breathing yourself by your tummy. Okay? So this is your option one. Let's do again with the breathing with me. So we... Watch me breathing now. You see, I'm not lifting myself straight when I'm starting my outer breath, right? Exactly like we did lying on the roller. So you're not pushing yourself like, yeah, I started my breath out, I'm going out, I'm going. No, I'm going when I feel the engagement, okay? Right, this is option one. You can carry on doing 12 of those, yeah? If you choose this option, it will be 10. The next modification, legs on the tabletop. So you see it in just over your cossacks. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, slowly bring yourself back to the roller. Under control, we inhale here, energize your arms, reach to the ceiling, meeting the wall. Exhale, feel the engagement and get into the seated position. Okay, if you're happy with this one, 10 of those. Okay, then we try and without the roller. Right, legs on the tabletop, I'm extending, it's gonna be eight. So we inhale, and then we go slowly under control, weight to break, by weight to break on the floor. Then we inhale. As we start to exhale, we can lift our head, neck, and shoulders, and then progress with sitting up. Okay? So if you're happy with this option, it's going naturally. Eight of those. Yeah, and if you go, my favorite one, the hardest one, is only four. Okay, there we go. It's starting here. Right, so we go, inhale, and then. Okay, so you choose your option, guys. You go. <laughs> yeah? Here we are. Some. They're going to be. Yeah? So, yeah, easy one. 12, a little bit harder. 10, a little bit harder. 8, and then you can do just four of the full version. All mm -hmm. you need to think about is the right time engaging your core. When you finish your last one, you feel really like, oh, I really feel that Tommy, nothing else. Okay? Yeah, so you start in position, seated, chest open, lower back flat. Yeah, so you're a superstar, you see? It's getting easier. Yeah. Yeah, and if you go from advanced option, you're starting with actually energizing your arms, following that, you need that push a little bit with your arms, not the back. Mm -hmm. Very good. You will, you will. Yeah, it take a couple of passes to run. Well done, everybody. I love you choosing the option. You feel some achievement, everybody? Just make sure you're breathing fine, yeah? Here, think about what you're doing. Start to breathe out. Feel the tummy and then use it to push yourself up. So when we finish, then I want you sitting, facing forward with your legs extended forward. <laughs> Yeah, last one is hard, yeah? I, I could manage to do four, that's why I stopped. <laughs> I do three. <laughs> I find three, my next week I will do four. This week I only manage three. Okay, well done. Next one, hardly impossible. Sitting, sitting, yeah? We're all waiting for our lovely model. Okay, so next one, as I said, I give this exercise summer 2024, when we can all can do it. It's quite a challenging one. So I want you to just sit in your legs extended, lean back, so lower back flat, and arms supporting you on the back. Okay? Slowly. Flat. So your body is 45 degrees. Your lower back is flat, so you can curl in a little bit, but keep your chest open, keep your shoulders down the rest of your ears as much as you can. Lengthen through your neck, get your tummy in. Okay? So what we're doing now, we're trying to lift your legs and out to breath up, but not doing that. Okay, so lightness in your hands, nicely open chest. So we inhale, we start to exhale 
on the field engagement if you lift your both legs slightly up. Well done. And then that try this way. If your shoulders are going up, yeah, just stop immediately. If it's creating the pain in your back and neck, stop immediately. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, it's not going to happen straight away. Okay, so you all try it. Okay, so now Brian is progressing. That's that's why you're going to Pilates three times a week. It was exactly the same first time, yeah? Yeah, so that, yeah, the exercise is, is actually doing what he, Brian does, twisting. Yeah, to keep twist one side and other side. Okay, so you can all try. Oh, Helen, brilliant. You see what happened? Oh, well done. Yeah, Keely is natural. <laughs> Lovely, so, okay, so if. Brilliant, let's stop for now. Yeah, let's stop for now. Okay, so we all done an easy modification. Okay. Yeah? The reason why we find it's difficult, yeah, is the hip flexor muscle. So we do the spine. Yeah, here we have hip flexor, which is our big muscles here, they're taking over. But those inside, they're getting tight with the thumb, with our lungs. We're speaking a lot. And they're going to tighten, 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 not active, and they're actually going like stubborn and tight. <coughs> yeah, and it's no strength. Yeah, it's something it's tight and stubborn, it's not strength in it. So they don't have enough strength. So we're trying to weigh them up, and we will do it slowly. And so we can do easy option. We can just practice a nice sitting, it's chest open, flat back, lightness in your hands, nice long neck. Yeah, and you're going to put your feet slightly on one side, extend the legs, and go one leg at a time. Be breathing in. And as we exhale, go one leg, second leg. Again, inhale. Very good, yeah? And all you think about is that push chest, lightness in our shoulders, away from the ears, and keeping the ears on top of the shoulders, not in front of them, here, okay? Very good, easier, but still hard. Well done, so that's our little practice. Okay, you can give it a go at home. <laughs> Then we lie down and we give another modification. Give it another modification. Okay? So lying down, arms relaxed on the side. We're gonna extend both legs up. Okay? This version might give you a little bit of lower back pain. So if you feel lower back pain, bring your knees towards your chest, stop immediately. Okay, so legs 90 degrees. Heavy pelvis, roll on your tailbone and place your hands on your pelvis. The most important will be stability of our pelvis. So imagine we have champagne glasses on your hips. And we breathe in. As we breathe in, we're making a little circle. Imagine 12 o'clock on the ceiling. You're drawing a little circle with your legs. Couple of times, and then we ch change in the direction. The most important is your pelvis is not wobbling. Okay? So do the movement, stop, check your pelvis, and do again. And after a couple of times, bring your both knees towards your chest, curl yourself in a little ball, and give your hip flexors a little bit of relax. Okay? And then cross your feet, cross your feet, open your knees, and give me like little bear hooks, nice circling. So relaxing, opening the hip flexors, well done. It sure feels really, really nice. Make you bigger. Again, enjoy yourself. Well done. So I can see you have massive potential with this one. Maybe this class we can we can do that hip twist to be earlier than 2024. You're all very good. So let's lie on the tummy. Let's go now, last one. Okay? We go swimming. Yeah, we go swimming. We're gonna break it quickly now, a bit quicker than normal. Yeah, so we've been doing one leg at a time, one arm at a time. Oh, should be fine. Should be fine. Okay, if you have no arm, uh, let's do legs only, okay? So place your forehead on top of our hands. We just go do legs, okay? So imagine I'm holding your leg and I'm pulling them. So you really need to stretch them forward and, yeah, feeling them stretched. That's what we need to create, long legs, okay? And then we start in breathing, pushing the pelvis and hips down. As you start to breathe out, really engage that tummy. Feel how I'm pulling your legs away and then lift them up. Oh, okay, and then relax. Okay, give me four more. Again, in the breath, pushing the pelvis down. Exhale, squeeze the glutes, get your tummy in and lift the both legs off the floor. Well done, yeah, 
couple of more times. Try to remain the upper back relaxed. Yeah, and here, when you're scooping it all, is like tailboard meeting the belly button from inside. All nicely scooped together. Spine remains yeah, free of any tension. Okay? So on your fourth one, just leave the legs and leave them lifted. A little bit more engaging in your abdominals and the tailbone. And then a little swimming movement. Boom, 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 boom. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Try to engage your glutes. Try to squeeze your bone muscles. That's it, that's it, that's it. Well done. And relax. Fabulous. Shuffle that pelvis side to side. Give it a little rest. <laughs> right? Upper back. Yeah? If you have no problem with your uh, shoulders, extend your arms up. If there are shoulders problems, hands next to your face. Yeah? Choosing your options. This time, just upper back. Right? So what I want you to do, yeah, leave your legs alone. Just still keep them long, but out to breath. Tummy up. Pelvis down. Leave the chest off the floor slightly, chin in, yeah, so face facing down, and then relax, yeah, a couple of times, just practicing your right alignment and engagement, so out to breast, pushing the pelvis down, scooping the tummy, taking the chest off the floor, keeping the face right parallel to the floor, so if I look at you, I won't see your face, I just see your crown, very good, well done, together with your arms, together with your arms, yeah, lifting up. Lovely. Okay. Good. Okay. So next time, lifting your arms, stay lifted, engage a little bit more, give me a little swimming. Just your arms. Dun, 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 dun. Lean a little. Try to keep stability on the rest of your body. You're doing amazing. Well done. Okay. Relax. Relax. Okay. Now we're going to extend legs and arms together on out to press. So it's lying there. Inhale to prepare heavy pelvis. Lengthening legs and arms. Exhale, lift, and then relax. Mm. Yeah, a couple of times. A couple of times we just go in, and then, yeah, anytime you can start your swimming. If you feel confident, yeah, you can go on the swimming. If that's too much for you, we just go down and up. Very good. Keep your crown in. Good. Inhale, exhale. Don't forget to breathe. Well done. That's really good. Legs long. Fabulous. Enough. And get into the Sphinx position. Okay, so you can relax your pelvis. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Feels nice. Good. Progress into the cobra. Okay, and then do proper cobra like Pilates cobra. Yeah, tummy up, pivot bone of the floor, hips of the floor. And then take your breath and out to breast. Relax and stack your tummy. Feel that. Yeah, feel that nicely. Stretch in and lie down. Well done. Give me one more. Sphinx, Shufa, Cobra, engage and relax. Push to the Cobra, engage. Yeah, chin in, lengthen in, and then relax tummy, and then lie down. Then sit back in the child position. If you fancy a little stretch, please do. If not, just hold the child for a moment. There we go. You might feel like you want to place your bottom on your heels and stretch. And then let's hook your toes under. And from here, push your bottom up into the downward dog. Okay, so when you build a lovely downward dog, weight equally between your both, between your feet and your hips. Tailbone pushing to the ceiling, heels pushing to the floor. Knees could be bent, that's fine. Shoulders soft. Head completely relaxed. You can be able to see your chest, pushing the chest towards your lap, shoulder blades up to your pelvis, tailbone to the ceiling, heels to the floor. Take your breath in now to breast. Walk your hands towards your feet. Walk in, walk in. Bend your knees if you need to. And then next time you exhale, you unroll. Wait to break, bow, wait to break. Well done. Nicely, nicely, nicely. Roll in through your spine. Oh, nicely challenge you today. Yeah, shake it all. Yeah, feel it. Well done. Oh, so impressive. You just work so absolutely up, just like 100%. Well done, girls. It's always so fantastic. Good job. Shake it off. Oh, yes. Have a lovely bank holiday weekend, everybody. Yeah? If you feel like you need a little bit more motion. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you, guys. I hope I see you for some of you on Monday and not next week. And I wish everyone enjoying your weekend. Hopefully, it will be nice weather so we can enjoy walking, gardening, and things like that. Bye. <laughs> End of the torture. End of the torture. <laughs> the end of the